the world's most advanced mobile operating system deserves the most advanced smartphone. And here it is. It's the best iPhone that we have ever created. This is iPhone 7. It has a gorgeous new design, and I'd like to have Johnny tell you more about it. We are so excited about iPhone 7. It makes all the things you do every day so much better. To tell you more about it, I'd like to invite my colleague Phil Schiller up to the stage. Phil? Well, good morning, everyone. I'm excited. I hope you are. This is, yeah, somebody is. This is the best iPhone we have ever made. We're going to cover it with 10 major features. We're going to get right started with number one. You've already heard about it, the design. Tim and Johnny have told you that there is a beautiful, new, refined design for iPhone 7. It starts with this new finish we call Jet Black. It is absolutely stunning. It is a high gloss finish. So it's a seamless surface between the glass and the aluminum back all around. It is a stainless steel Apple logo. The new integrated antennas are built so subtly you can barely see them at all anymore. And of course, the enclosure creates the housing for the camera. It is a beautiful new design. There's a second new black. We call it simply black. <laughs> it is bead blasted aluminum. It diffuses light. It is a black logo, and it looks very cool, very high tech. Well, the new iPhone 7 also looks beautiful in gold and in silver and, of course, rose gold. <laughs> Number two, something we use hundreds of times a day, the home button. The home button is quintessential Apple design. It is so simple yet so powerful. We use it throughout our day. We click it to go home. We double click it to bring in multitasking. We hold it down to invoke Siri. We can program it through accessibility. You can put your finger on it and read your fingerprint with Touch ID. You can double tap it to bring the screen down in reachability. And of course, hold it near a terminal to pay with Apple Pay. It does so many things for us. And we've completely redesigned it to make it more responsive, more reliable, and even customizable in iPhone 7. Now, we've done this before. We've changed our input devices in big ways. You may remember with the iPod, it started with a mechanical click wheel, and then we updated it to an electrostatic wheel, and it was so much better. We've done it recently with the MacBook and the MacBook Pro. We've brought out the Force Touch trackpad, and it's the best trackpad we've ever had in a notebook. And we're doing this with the Home button. We've re-engineered it. It's now Force-sensitive solid state. It works together in combination with a new generation Taptic engine. And this Taptic engine is more responsive, puts out a wider range of frequencies, and it creates in real time an incredible feel with the new home button. In fact, it's so useful we use it throughout the user experience. So if you do a quick action like moving a widget, it gives you a nice Taptic feedback. There's unique feedbacks for notifications and messages and even your ringtones. And it's amazing because it can be programmed by third-party applications, and the applications that have started to work on iPhone 7, taking advantage of this Taptic engine, are creating new feelings and experiences that could not have been created before in a smartphone. It's really incredible. Number three, the new enclosure in iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus are water and dust resistant.
Now, it was incredibly important to the team to ensure that we protect the great feeling and experience that we all love about our iPhones with the buttons and switches. And to do that and provide this resistant meant re-engineering it from the inside out in many ways, including new seals and new adhesives. And in our tests, it is IP67 protection standard. What does this mean for all of us? Well, even the least coordinated among of us don't have to worry in case some unusual mishap happens that your iPhone will be safe from water or dust. <laughs> Number four, let's talk about the camera. The camera is perhaps the most beloved feature by many of us in our iPhones, and customers take absolutely stunning photographs. You can see them around the world in the Shot on iPhone campaign. They are amazing, and they send us them every single day, more pictures to be included in that campaign, because it is an incredible camera. And just wait till they get their hands on the new camera system in the iPhone 7. It is a huge advancement in photography for cell phones. Everything about it is entirely new. There's an optical image stabilizer in all iPhones, 7 and 7 Plus. It helps steady from shaking hands. There's a wider f1.8 aperture lens that lets 50% more light onto the sensor. There is a new six element lens so you can get a sharp image edge to edge without 1.8 aperture. And there's an all new 12 megapixel sensor. It has large pixels, it's 60% faster and 30% more energy efficient. Even the flash is all new. Our True Tone flash in the same aperture now has four LEDs. It puts out 50% more light, reaches 50% further, and the engineering team has come up with this really cool feature, a flicker sensor. What does that do? Well, the flicker sensor reads the flickering of artificial lighting and can compensate for it in the photos and videos you take. This is really, really big in terms of image quality. But behind it all is the brains of the camera, the image signal processor. And this enables so much of the unique quality that we get in our pictures we take with iPhone. And the ISP and the new chip in the iPhone 7 has twice the throughput of previous versions. What does this ISP do? Well, I'm going to take you a quick walk through some of the things the ISP does every time we take a picture. It's unbelievable. But the first thing it does is it reads the scene and uses machine learning to look for objects and people and bodies within it. Then it automatically sets exposure sets focus using our focus pixels, sets the color with white balance. In fact, for the first time, captures wide color, cinema standard wide color. It balances it off with tone mapping. It does noise reduction. And even if it needs to, it can take multiple photos and fuse them together into one to give you the perfect image. This happens every time we take a picture. In fact, the ISP is so smart, it is performing 100 billion operations every time we take a picture. And it does it in just 25 milliseconds. This truly is a supercomputer for photos. Well, what matters most is the pictures you can take with the iPhone 7. So, of course, we've given iPhone 7s to a number of great photographers and asked them to show us what's possible directly with this incredible camera. And they were so blown away. I want to use one quote uh, of what photographers had to say about this. Christopher Anderson said, this iPhone is going to be a part of any professional's repertoire of tools. The camera didn't just handle low light, it rendered the separation of colors in a way that reminds me of film just beautiful. That is remarkable praise from a great photographer. So I'm going to show you a few pictures that he and some other photographers took directly from iPhone 7, and these have not been retouched in any way. So here's one. This is an absolutely beautiful photograph. It's a high-speed camera. He's not floating there. It shows just how great it is and how sharp the focus. It takes incredible pictures, whether you're using black and white or color. And the colors, because we capture wide color gamut images now, are much richer, particularly in the greens and some of the reds. Unfortunately, from the slide machine up to this projection system, you don't get the full breadth of the gamut of wide colors. So what you're seeing here, as beautiful it is, isn't as beautiful as it actually is in the photo, and you can see it on your iPhone. And here's an example of low light photography. 
so much improved, it's really great. So customers are gonna love taking pictures with iPhone 7, they're also gonna love taking live photos. They're already fun and they've gotten even better with iPhone 7. Now we apply video image stabilization. When you take a live photo, you can edit them after you shot them, like crop them or apply filters, and developers can capture and edit live photos within their applications with iOS 10. Developers are really excited that in iOS 10, you can now capture raw DNG files directly from the camera sensor and do even more complex editing. And for the first time with iPhone 7, they can also get wide color in their photos that they take as well. So this is the best camera we've ever made on any iPhone. We also have the best camera we've ever had on the front side as well. There's a new 7 megapixel FaceTime HD camera for those selfies and those FaceTime calls we make. This is up from 5 megapixels. The sensor includes new pixel technologies that we've used on the backside, like deep trench isolation. If you remember what that is, it helps us get sharper images as the pixels get close together. It also captures wide color images. So throughout the system, we're applying wide color and does auto image stabilization. So this shot that you see up here on the screen, that was taken from the front side camera, unedited exactly as it can take a beautiful selfie. So this is the iPhone 7 camera. New 12 megapixel camera system with optical image stabilization, wider f1.8 aperture, six elements in the lens, that sensor 60% faster, now a quad LED true tone flash, our incredibly fast ISP, and wide color capture. It is the best camera ever in an iPhone. So. <laughs> if you can't tell, I love cameras. I love them. And this has got me so excited because if that is the best camera we've ever made in an iPhone, what is left for iPhone 7? And this is what we're doing on iPhone 7 Plus. It's plus a second camera. There's now two 12 megapixel cameras built in the iPhone 7 Plus. One has the wide angle 28 millimeter lens, the same as the iPhone 7. The other is a telephoto 56 millimeter lens. Well, why have two complete cameras with two lenses? Well, to explain it, let me show you a traditional point and shoot or DSLR and how the lens can work. As you know, and we have many of these cameras in our lives, you can change the focal length of your lens to zoom in. That's how we get a zoom feature. And that works great when you have a large camera with a big lens on it that you can move in and out. That isn't so great on the lens you want to put in something that goes in your pocket or your purse. So we know with two cameras and two different lenses, we can create a zoom feature built in to the iPhone. It takes an incredible amount of hardware and software to do it in a way that we can all enjoy, and the team has done something remarkable. So how does it work? The same as before. You go into the camera app to take a picture. But now, there's a new button right there on the screen. Let me blow it up a teeny bit. It says 1x. It's right above the shutter. And when you go to take a picture, it's using the wide-angle lens and taking a picture just as always. But now with this button, you can do one of two things. First, you can just tap it, and it jumps to 2x. Now you're taking a picture with a telephoto lens. You're getting the same high-quality 12-megapixel picture with a beautiful optical lens, no software needed. The second thing you can do is you can put your finger on it and drag across it, and you can zoom from 1x to 5x. And as you go beyond 2x, you're doing software zoom. But now, since it's starting with that telephoto lens, the quality of that image is four times better than before with software zoom. In fact, it's so much better, we decided to push it even further, all the way up to 10x. So now... Yeah. So as you see here, now with iPhone 7 Plus, you can go from 1x to 10x. Optical zoom at 2x, and great software zoom after that. Here's an example of two photos side by side. The one on the left taken at 1x, the one on the right at 2x. Both with beautiful optical lens quality. Both are great examples of taking low light pictures now with incredible new cameras in iPhone 7 Plus. So that's the camera in iPhone 7 Plus, joining iPhone 7 with this great new zoom feature. There's one other use of this camera that we challenge our engineering team to do as an extra credit project. 
It's re <laughs> it really was. It's something that is incredibly challenging and takes a lot of amazing invention. But what they've been doing is astounding. And it's something that's a big breakthrough in photography. And we want to give you a sneak peek of this feature. Now, to explain it, I'm going to bring up a picture. This is a picture that was taken with a very high-end camera. And so it will help us illustrate the feature we're trying to achieve. So let me bring up a picture. You see in this beautiful portrait, the gentleman in the front is pin sharp in focus. And that background has a beautiful blur. This is called shallow depth of field. This is a technique that's really useful for things like portraiture. And it's something that is illustrative of a great camera that has often a very big sensor, like a full frame sensor, or a really big, fast lens. And the quality of that background blur, that's what's called bokeh. And the higher the quality of the bokeh, usually the more advanced and higher quality the lens and camera system. And the, out, the ending result is it feels almost 3D, like the person's popping off the screen. It is a beautiful photo. So our goal is to try to do something like this using the two cameras in the iPhone 7 Plus. And what the engineering team has been doing, hardware and software working together, is truly remarkable. What they're able to do is when we take a picture, is to use the ISP to scan the scene, to use machine learning to recognize people and faces, and then create a depth map of that image from the two cameras and the software. Keep the people in the front sharp and focused and apply a beautiful blur to the background. This is a huge breakthrough in what can be done in a smartphone in photography. So how do you do it? Well, it couldn't be easier. Again, we go to the camera app, you go to take a picture, where you normally select the style of the picture, so panorama or square, there's a new style that says portrait. You select portrait, it automatically jumps to using the telephoto lens, because that 56 millimeter lens is great for portrait lens. And automatically you see the depth effect. Now what's remarkable is that before you take a picture, as you're looking at your iPhone screen, you are seeing that blur in the background. It is being generated in real time as you're looking at your screen. Even high-end DSLRs can't do real-time deep depth preview in their screens. This is an incredible breakthrough. So now I'm going to show you the first picture we've ever shown the world of a depth of field photo taken from an iPhone 7 Plus with this new feature. Before I do, I have to come clean on something because I went an entirely honest before. The picture I showed you before, this was taken on an iPhone 7 Plus. It is stunning. Again, we've given some photographers early access to a 7 Plus and this software feature, and they've been blown away by how it performs. Let me just give you one quote from, from a photographer. Jason Aceto said, I loved the depth of field capabilities and the ability to shoot fast without losing sharpness. This iPhone proves you don't need a five-figure rig to get a great photographer. This camera is going to change the game. Now, we are not saying to throw out your DSLRs and that iPhone replaces all the DSLRs. What we are saying is this is the best camera we have ever made in an iPhone. This is the best camera ever made in any smartphone. For many of the customers who have it, it'll probably be the best camera they've ever owned to date. But more importantly, it allows them to create beautiful pictures with incredible creative tools. So let me show you two more examples taken from the iPhone 7 Plus with its depth of field. Here's another photo. That's absolutely beautiful. One more. It is an incredible tool. It's not for every style of picture you're going to take, but for the ones you want to use it on, it's a pretty big breakthrough. So how will iPhone 7 Plus users get this great feature? Well, simple. It will be a free software update later this year to all iPhone 7 Plus users. So that's the camera. <laughs> Next, let's talk about the Retina HD display. The Retina HD display is the best display on any smartphone. And an iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, they get even better. They're now 25% brighter than the 6S and 6S Plus. For the first time, they display wide color gamut. That's cinema P3 standard colors. 
And we do end-to-end -end color management from the manufacturing of the factory to the photos you take with the camera to what you see on the display are all color managed in a beautiful way. And don't forget, we integrate within the Retina HD display our 3D touch layer. This is an important element of the user interface. And in iOS 10, the team has taken great use of this, so we're going to use it more throughout our day in very powerful ways. So we wanted to show you one example of an app taking advantage of all of this, taking advantage of the Retina HD display and its Y color, of the cameras built in iPhone 7, and of course, 3D Touch. We want to show you a photo app, and who knows photos and apps better than Instagram? So I'm very excited to bring up Ian Spalter, head of design at Instagram. Ian? Good morning, everybody. I'm excited to share with you what we built to take advantage of this new iPhone's gorgeous wide color screen and dual lens camera. About a month ago, we launched a new product called Instagram Stories. And we've seen people sharing moments ranging from their everyday lives to behind the scenes at the Olympics. So let's jump into the Stories camera using a new 3D touch quick action. Now, the first thing we love about this new iPhone is this beautiful zoom that goes optically to 2x without losing any resolution. We built a new zoom UI with haptic feedback so you can really feel when you push into that digital zoom. But now let's take a photo. <laughs> Thank you. Check out how bright and vivid the colors are thanks to the new wide color capture of the new camera. So photos don't always capture the moment fully. So with the tap of a button, we use the Live Photos API to quickly create a boomerang to bring the moment to life. You can also import your existing live photos to do the same thing. Now, this is awesome, but we wanted to go a step further and really take full advantage of this wide color ga gamut screen. So we built a new filter to do just that by pushing into parts of the color spectrum that just weren't possible with sRGB. So with this new filter, you can see colors pop in a way that you've never seen before. In fact, we've updated all of our photo filters to take advantage of wide gamut. So no matter what your favorite filter is, you're going to be experiencing all of your Instagram photos in full, vibrant color. And finally, once you're happy with what you've created, you can share the moment with friends with a single tap. And then if one of them replies, our iOS 10 rich notifications show you the image right there in the push notification. So this new version of Instagram will be launching later this year. And we're really excited to see what you all create with Instagram and the new iPhone. Thank you.